All right, let's consider the third method of defining style information, and that is what's called inline. We've talked about internal and external methods in separate videos. Now let's address internal. Here you see a simple but odd looking web page, uh, blue but blue blue, and you'll see that the color of the text changes from bright blue to a darker blue. If we look at the raw HTML content for this, you'll see that I'm using an internal style definition in the paragraph uh, tag. Here, I, here the, here's the syntax. You say style equals quote, and in this case I'm defining the color, and I'm using 0000FF for my brightest blue to begin, and I'm setting the margin left to 5 pixels, and that's the end of the beginning of the tag, and then we have the text, and then the end of the paragraph tag. As we go down, we go from FF down to 5.5, five, which is darker, less blue, and we have the margin come in. If we look at the page, we can see exactly that's what the browser is rendering the page as. Then at the bottom, we see another use of the inline definition, which is a div, style equals text align center, and then ta-da, and a finishing uh, slash div. The reason I added this particular bit of inline code is that it's probably the, one of the few pieces of inline code that you may want to use. I'll show you why. Here you will see we have our ta-da nicely centered. Inline code is generally speaking problematic. Uh, if you want to do something like a rainbow effect with your text, use inline code. You wouldn't want to define a thousand and one different uh, style definitions to handle that. Just do it inline. But if if you want to establish um, like a general color for all of your text on a page, if you use inline, you have to add the inline for every single paragraph. That's a lot of work. It's better to define a general style and use the internal or external methods as discussed. The reason the div uh, inline is considered a different situation is that the center tag is being what they call depreciated. That means there will come a point when browsers will not recognize center. Remember center? Type in center some text here and center. And you look at it on your page and it's nice and centered. There will come a point when that won't be centered, when they will not recognize it. It's being depreciated. There's a lot of pages that use centered. I can't imagine that the browsers would actually eliminate the use of it. However, we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, if you're designing new pages, don't use center. If you have an area that you want centered and you just want to slap dash it to get it uh, moved over, use this inline uh, div trick right here. That should work for you. Undoubtedly there will be situations where it won't work, but for the most part this will be a nice trick for replacing center. So this should give you the fundamentals for using inline style. Remember the syntax, you just say style equals, and that's before you get this little greater than sign at the end of the uh, tag. Because here I'll show you what it looked like. We started with this. That was our line. And we wanted to add a style to it, so we just said style equals, and you have to have a closing quote whenever you have an opening quote. And we say, all right, 
let's change the color and we'll change it in this case let's change it to a nice strange color now you don't have to use a semicolon if there's just the one element but I have a habit of always using semicolon so let's add that and there we have our kind of greenish yellow blue 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 that's how you add inline style good luck